Hey guys, I miss you guys so much. Here I am in my home studio and I'm going to be doing some Zentangle patterns with you to kind of keep up what we've been talking about when we're doing our coloring books. Um, if you got a take home packet from any of your teachers, in that packet was this little book right here. And in that book, I put tons of Have I told you guys how much I love this book? I have been using this book like crazy lately. So we're gonna look at this um, this pattern called Tripoli. And basically it's taking a shape, any kind of shape you want, and you rotate it around um, to where it almost fits together like a puzzle or tile pieces with little channels between them. I'm gonna upload some PDFs of these two pages that I'm using in the document hub that is available for Parkway Elementary students only. So if you want to follow along, you can you can have your mom and dad print those out. Um, we're going to start with step one and two and then move on to step three. It can get as detailed as you want. You can put these little triangles in between all the triangles. I mean, it can be, get super detailed if you want it to. But I'm going to keep it pretty simple today just so that we learn how to do the pattern. You could do different shapes like letters. You could do a string, which is in your packet actually that I sent home with you. You could just do some um, shapes and just, you know, try it out, see what you think. So the great thing about doing these at home is you can pause the video whenever you need. So if you need a little extra time to draw something, just hit pause and I'll be there when you're ready to start again. So I'm going to start filling my space with triangles. I'm going to leave a little space in between each triangle as if they're little tiles laid together. Um, some will be tall and skinny, some will be short and fat, um, some will be small, some will be large. I'm just going to fill this entire square with triangles, leaving those spaces in between. Now you do it. Thank you. 
So now I'm gonna start to trace around my triangles with the black Sharpie or a black marker, whatever you have on hand, black crayon, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm gonna actually color in these channels and black out the background so that these triangles really pop on my page. All right guys, so I'm gonna be honest. My hand is getting tired. I've been doing these teeny tiny lines and you know how your, your hand just is starting to hurt? Well, that's what's happening to me. So I've decided that I'm only gonna color half of my triangles in. The rest of it is going to just be where I outline my pencil markings and leave the channels white. So half is gonna be white, half is gonna be black. So here's where I take my eraser and I'm gonna clean up my drawing. I'm gonna get rid of all those pencil markings that I don't need anymore. Um, it's gonna make the Sharpie look sharper, right? Cause it's a Sharpie. <laughs> so clean it up, get rid of all those pencil markings you don't need and there you go. I hope you had fun and I miss you guys. Hope to see you soon.